Now, over in away camp, Carly's really missing her fiancé, Chelsea, and England footballer Joe Cole. And back in London, Joe's pretty down in the dumps too. Apparently, he's been inconsolable because he's missing... The England-Germany game on Wednesday night. He's done his ankle in. He's touch and go for Saturday's game against Newcastle as well. Is he? Mm. Don't hurry back, Joe. You've got to rest back. that ankle. You can never be too sure. Rest it. Good lad. Right, back to Carly and the rest of away camp. How are you feeling? Tired and right. swollen and a bit sad, but all right. No, I'm OK. I'm not, obviously, I miss, I just miss Joe mainly. I know. I think we're all finding it a bit tough at the moment. Are you as well? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But at this moment, they're probably watching me. Really? Joe is probably watching you. So he's watching you and saying, my God, look at the way she's coping. I'm missing home. <laughs> but, you know, when you just cry uncontrollably. The only thing I miss really from home is, um, Joe. No, because I'm the only sad one right now. No, I think I'm just like... weaker because I'm letting water no. come out my eyes. That's perfect. You're right. I think you. I think you express it. I'm... I think I feel a hug coming on. Don't you? It's very strange because nobody appears to be depressed. Everyone seems quite normal, but but I know we are. I nearly walked in the middle of the night. Did you? Mm -hmm. And me. You too. Yeah. I was surprised everybody's so bullying. Yeah. And I thought, shit, I'm a real one. <laughs> but I actually thought, why am I doing this? I think we all feel the same, actually. I thought, yeah. I feel quite lonely. And I realise how much of my mood depends on people I care about. And they're not here. But the people who are here are very nice. In the middle of the night, I just thought, I'm not, I'm not staying. Did you? Mm -hmm. You know. I'm actually really missing my family. And that's, that might sound strange for a bloke to say it, right, at my age, but I'm really missing it. I have not been parted from my wife since we were... for 48 years, for more than four oh. nights we've been apart. Oh, that's so lovely. We're down and miserable, but somehow everybody seems to have that kind of stiff upper lip and are just getting on with it. I well, think we've we been go. keeping I each think, other going. Yeah, yeah, we have. We, we have actually. This is this is harder than I thought it would be. It's, 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 it's the mental side of it. There's no shame in feeling what you feel, is no, there? No, no, no. We've been through some quite tough times together, so we're quite prepared for the worst as well, and um, you know we'll put up with it. We decided very early on it was one for all and all for one. Still to come, an uninvited guest. Sod off. Go on. <laughs> Go away! And Joe speaks his mind. He's a dickhead, you know that. That's not nice. That's He's a dickhead. Said. Welcome back to I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. The phone lines are now closed. Please don't call. Your vote won't be counted, but you st may still be charged. Hey, and uh, happy birthday, Ant. Thank you very much. Happy birthday today. It is. In Australia, we've got a good day lined up for you, me and all the lads. What, what, what's but the But we crack? thought we could hang around here, uh -huh. watch, uh, do a bush tucker trial, <laughs> yeah. and go and watch the rain, uh -huh. and then go to bed about 6pm, ready to do it all again tomorrow. Sounds brilliant. I'm yeah? Thank you. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you know how to look after me. Uh, I tell you what, something, time for another treat that uh, Ant here in particular loves watching every year. Gets very excited about it. Always bangs on about it for hours afterwards. Huh? Something you like Australian watching. Australian Dino Nordia. <laughs> no, the celebrity chest. Oh, no, no, you aren't. Well, it's the first one of the series, and it's a head-to-head -head between the two camps, and they're battling out for a chance to win a treat, and they were Martina and Carly. Oh, were they? Yeah. Oh, good. After I left camp, I knew I had to just hike up. It was a longer hike than I thought. And then I smelled this smell. I'm like, God, they must have a human waste disposal unit. But no, the smell was coming from where we were diving into, the swamp. Lovely. <laughs> what did we get ourselves into, eh? When I saw Martina, I just thought, you know, she's a top athlete. And I thought, oh, shit, really? <laughs> You're about to compete in Spawn again. Celebrities must race through the swamp, collect a spawn ball and throw it into the catcher to release the fluid. And avoid the spikes. The first celebrity to release enough liquid to float the key to the top may unlock the chest and return to camp victorious. Being one of the greatest athletes of all time, I figured, okay, I mean, she's got 25 years on me, but I got a little more experience. I was just so focused and the adrenaline kicked in, I wanted to win. The balls were actually a lot heavier than I thought. I couldn't get it up high enough. 
But once I threw the first balloon, it slipped out of my hand. I'm like, okay, I need it to really get underneath it so it doesn't go off to the side. I'm a good goal shooter in netball anyway. For me, it was a lot better to just get the power and to get the fling. When I got the first one in, I thought, yeah, go, girl. Oh, good shot. Halfway through, Martina's key was raised a fair bit above mine. I thought, oh my god. So I thought, you better back your ideas up. Got the key! Yeah! My team's gonna be happy. God, that okay. stinks. You were right. That is what stinks. Oh my god. Okay. I need a shower. Can't wait to get in the camp and get in the swimming pool. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I mean, for me, it's like, okay, uh, it's about ego, of course, but most of all, I want to I wanna get a treat for the team, so it's, it's a great feeling. Really disappointed, because this is the second sort of task I've lost now. My mind's thinking, how am I going to tell the camp? And are they going to be, think they've got a weak person in the team? So, advantage never all over. Huh? Good one. If there's one thing the greatest tennis player of all time knows, it's how to win. And if there's one thing the rest of them know, it's how to gossip. I'm really interested now to getting on over there in the other camp. Like, Who do you think is going to be the hardest out of that group when they come over? Simon's lovely. I can't. He won't be a problem to anyone. So Robert Kilroy is. Um, no, he's, he's, very, he's, very, he's, he's very sure of himself. Like, he knows, yeah, yeah, he's very confident. He knows what he is and... and he's very confident, yeah. so that's why I was thinking him and Brian might clash, because they yeah. both want to be the alpha male in the camp, don't they? Martina's coming back. Where? I need help! Go help her, Joe. Oh, well, look, she's got something. She stinks! Martina stinks! I stink, what? totally stink! Thanks. It's good to have you back. I'm going to kiss you. <laughs> Stinky up. And all. I mean, that's smell, doesn't it? I didn't know. That's what it was in the like pool. A tank, like a mysterious you tank. I thought it was. Tank. What? Hello. Hi, babe. <laughs> I bloody didn't get it. You didn't get it? Oh, bless you. I'm you so pleased to see you. I was oh. so concerned. Was it horrible? I'm freezing and I stink. I have a sniff of them. Oh, naughty. Congratulations on winning the first head-to-head -head celebrity chest. You have won a visit to the other camp for one of your team. Inside compartment A is a gift. You may share it with the other team if you wish. Well, we know they've won dinner tonight, so, so we don't have to do that, Jeremy. Let's do it. Hot chocolate and milk from Holly and Fern. Yeah! yeah! Oh, this Holly and Fern. I'd like to get out of camp. Oh, go on. You, you, ain't been out. you ain't been out, that's fair. I think he's got itchy feet now. I think Brian really wants to get out of camp and... Um, go and do something. Oh, Brian and Kewell work their first mate. Head I, think, real I think he's gonna, I think they're gonna bump heads, those two. I had never met Robert before. Obviously, I've seen his TV show. The first impressions weren't too good at the hotel. See you later. But that might just be, you know, uh, a one-off bad experience. So it'll be good to uh, maybe have a bit of a chat with Robert and see, uh, see how he's getting on. Do you know what I mean? Um, hello. Oh, oh Dad. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, nice Are you coming to, to join us? us? I'm afraid not. It's just a very short 